So I'm trying to plan out my little red dress project. <laughs> this is the mess I got into. But I now think I have an idea. Because as I was sitting here and looking through my pattern magazines and my patterns and I just remembered I actually do have the perfect Christmas dress. This one. I'm sorry, it's a little bit wrinkled. I just found it in the closet. So, But this is going to be my Christmas dress this year. Although I have to do a little bit of fiddling with it because I want this part to be a little bit, bit more out. So I'm going to go and get some jewel and sew to the underskirt, which I will show you if I can get in there. To sew to the underskirt here. And then I was thinking I wanted a bolero. So I've been doing a little bit of sketching and this is what I found. And the hardest thing about this bolero is the sleeves. Which I actually have on this jacket. Yay! I'll try and insert a picture or something of me wearing this jacket because I do have it. So, now I'm just going to have to make the vest part, this front and back. And that I'm going to do here on my lovely Gertrude. This is going to be the first thing I make on her. This is the jacket. It does have a little bit of a puffy sleeve, but not as much as I think I want. I do think I want a little bit more, and then it has this, which I actually very much like. And yes, of course, I'm forever going to wear them with sweatpants. But I actually do love this jacket quite a lot, although it does have some things that has to be fixed. So I'm going to make it yet again <laughs> one more time at some point I love this this is so funny but this is where the sleeves will be coming from or perhaps I should just make this jacket with the things and the stuff It is rather pretty. See, this is the trouble about going to use your own designs, because there's so many ideas all of the time. All of the time I have ideas for, well, maybe I should put something on the collar, or maybe I should make this, or maybe I should make something else, or I'm going to hang this jacket up and then show it to you on the hanger. So here it is just hanging. I love these giant colors it has. <laughs> and this fabric on the inside is amazing. <laughs> I'm just like, that's amazing. But as you see here, does have some troubles because the outside fabric is apparently quite a lot longer than the inside fabrics so <laughs> but I do love this inside fabric but nobody but me is seeing so here's the back side and this rather large thing bum Thing here. I did get the idea for this jacket from Angela Clayton. I have absolutely no idea of which one I'm going to make, the jacket or the bolero. But one thing I do know is that I'm going to use the sleeve of the jacket to make the bolero if that's the one. 
So now I'm going to redo the sleeve because there's a little small things I need to do to it. Keep watching! This is the sleeve. As you see, I do need to do something about this because it, just no. And then actually I do want it to be a little bit broader so that I have more of this to gather down and it will be a little bit, bit more puffy. I'm going to just draw around what I have here and then I'll do the adjustments afterwards. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the lines, but what I have now is this piece drawn out on my pattern paper. I think I'm going to take this piece, cut it over here, and then slash it. So this will be a little bit broader. Slashing it in a, in a few places. careful taking this off because I don't want to rip my pattern paper. And here's my new sleeve. Now just erasing the lines I don't need anymore. No matter if you guys choose the bolero or the jacket. I'm going to make a pattern for the bolero because I'm going to make it at some point in time. So I found this piece of fabric that I used to make the, the what you might call it, uh, the smallest shirt in the world. And I'll insert a little clip of it. Oh, I think it's the cutest thing I have ever made. But I made the smallest shirt in the world for my sister and this is the fabric that I used. So I'm now going to use this to drape my, my bolero pattern. say it's straight now at, at the moment it does not have any seam allowances it does need, need a little bit more here I was a little bit too scissor happy so now all I need to do is transfer this to paper and then try to sew it so <laughs> that's going to be next for me so I was talking to my husband about which one to make 
And he was like, well, Christmas with your family is a pretty relaxed affair. So, you can make this one to wear on Christmas Eve. And you can take it off when it gets too hot and stuff. This one is more of a keep on jacket. But you can make it to wear for Christmas parties. If you can get to make both of them. And he's quite right. So firstly, I'm going to make this one. Because Christmas Eve. And my office Christmas party is not until January. So that's why I'm going to make this one second. So that's the plan. I'm working on the pattern for this. So I need to make up a twirl. That's the next thing I'm gonna do. That was my week. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again next week. Bye!